Mini skirts and low rise jeans have been the enemy for me. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day, what is up? So with spring right around the corner, which I'm just so excited for, I have been, you know, taking a look at what the spring 2022 fashion trends are. And I actually was preparing for a future video that is me thrifting spring 2022 fashion trends. And as I was going through, you know, different lists, different articles, I noticed there were a lot that I already own. And so I thought it'd be fun to do a styling 2022 spring fashion trends. I picked out about 11 that I personally have in my wardrobe and some of them I've kind of interpreted them into more of an inspiration and kind of tailored towards my personal fashion. I want this video to kind of show that you don't have to do a copy and paste when it comes to, you know, fashion trends. You can kind of look at them and then see what's already in your closet. And a lot of times because most trends have already happened, you probably have something similar to it in your closet. And if not, obviously thrifting and that'll be a, a future video. But just for this particular video, I want to show how I will be styling them. Of course, as always, 99% of everything I show in this video is secondhand. So if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below. And before we actually get into the outfits, I just want to thank today's sponsor, which is Pila. And I've worked with Pila in the past. I absolutely love them as a company. Literally the phone case I've had on my phone since October that I personally bought is from Pila. All of their products are 100% compostable and their phone cases are so soft. I mean, their other products are soft as well. Like literally my watch band is the softest thing ever, but specifically with the cases, they are also drop proof up to six feet. Pila's mission is to create a waste-free future and all their products come in plastic-free packaging. Like I said, I have also the watch band, this beautiful, purple color. Also, they sent me the cute little AirPods case. Like, oh my goodness, it's so adorable. I just love that you're able to customize your devices without hurting the environment. And so if you would like to also purchase something from Pila, a watch band, a case, AirPod case, all of them, then make sure you hit the link right down below. And the first 40 people who use my code Alexa Sunshine will get 40% off their first order. And yeah, thank you so much Pila for sponsoring today's video. Let's now get into the spring fashion trends. Like I said, I have about 11 different spring 2022 fashion trends. And basically for this video, I'm going to talk through each of the trends and overlay actual footage of me kind of creating outfits within them. I originally filmed this video where I had the outfits on and I was like talking through them, but it was really chaotic. So I am refilming it this way. So the first trend is accessorized legs and I've talked about it in like multiple videos. I feel like the pattern tights like, or even colorful tights, I am so into. So I finally got some pattern tights and I definitely will say there's a little Little learning curve. I think I'm just thinking about it way too much because when I see people rock pattern tights, they usually don't really go with the outfit. Like that contrasting chaotic pairing is what makes it so interesting sometimes. And so I ended up pairing it with this black skirt and then this checkered sweater vest and then my leather blazer and these cute little pumps. And I really wanted the tights to kind of have their moment. So that's why I went a little bit more towards not neutrals because because obviously the checkered sweater vest is a little loud and I went back and forth if I even should pair it with it, but I really wanna style personally pattern tights with just patterns. So like pattern on pattern. And I am curious, do you like the accessorized leg trend, the pattern tights? I'm super interested because I can understand people not liking them because it is kind of like, what is going on? But I think that's why I love them. The next trend is hyper feminine. And my goodness, I was so excited when I saw this in one of the articles because I see ruffles. I see pearls. I see soft pinks. The outfit that I created, it does, it's a lot, but I'm honestly in love with it. I really want to get to a point where I wear that kind of style a little bit more day to day. Cause I think sometimes I wait until there's like a reason for me to like 
pair all the elements together, especially this dress. It's kind of this, you know, puffed sleeve type of dress. I ended up pairing my Peter Pan collar with it. And then this beautiful necklace. Like I think it really just like put the cherry on top. It really looks like I'm going to a tea party in this look and I am totally here for it. Obviously, I don't think you need to go this extreme to create this type of trend. If you have any pieces in your closet that have, you know, again, those frills, the ruffles, the pastels, I think that very much is in line with it. All right, this next trend is full white like outfit, full white dresses. It's very much inspired by like bridal wear. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the white dress always becomes super popular or like trendy during springtime. I think it makes sense like lighter colors and all that. And I feel like honestly, out of all the trends I'm talking about today, this trend is something that I think everyone should own. Obviously, if you don't like white dresses, then like that's fine. But I feel like obviously a white dress isn't gonna go out of style. Like it's it's like the little black dress. It's always going to exist. No one's gonna say white dresses are out of style. So I have this dress that very much is giving me cottage core. It has a tiered detail and I really loved how I paired it with these platform black boots. I think the two styles are kind of opposite. So pairing them together is very much, I think my style. And I did put a denim jacket with it. This dress, I literally could not button the back. I'm home alone and so there's nobody here to help me. So that's also why I was wearing a jacket. I feel like wearing white, there's just something about it that makes you kind of feel good. Although it is a little bit risky, kind of makes me feel like I'm living on the edge. Okay, I am also very excited about this, which is Gaga for Guinum. And obviously I love Guinum. I have so many items in my closet that have Guinum in it. And so I ended up pairing this Guinum skirt with this suit vest on top of a white t-shirt. This is how I would obviously wear this trend. They very much had like, just a chaotic layering style with a bunch of guinum. I don't, I mean, I own a lot of guinum, but I also don't wear it would like all pair together. Guinum is also that type of like thing that never goes out of style. It's, it always just exists and it very much reminds me of springtime. So definitely makes sense that it's kind of being put as a trend. I would die for a like guinum suit set or some sort of like set, two piece set that's fully guinum. That is 100% on my thrift wish list now. Obviously I am excited about this trend which are platforms. I am such a lover of platforms, any type of platforms. That's like my main component when it comes to searching for shoes and boots is for them to have a platform. And I really love that there's different like degrees of how high the platform is. And so if you don't want a super high platform, there's shoes with like a little bit of a platform and then you have the super intense platforms. 100% I'm down for platforms. Literally, in my opinion, they never go out of style. I have obviously my Demonia Shaker 100s and I ended up pairing them with shorts and my cute little puff sleeve top I recently thrifted. And I actually saw someone wearing this outfit. I mean, literally the boots and everything at the thrift store like two months ago. And I don't know why, but I never thought of wearing my demonias with shorts. I always think of wearing them with skirts or dresses. And I was like, oh, that's a really cute outfit. So I'm basically copying that person. One thing I was really surprised to see on all the spring 2022 fashion trends articles and lists, because I go through a bunch of different articles to kind of just like get a summary. Some, you know, sites will contradict each other and be like, this is in. And then the other ones will say something like completely opposite. But one thing I noticed with all of them is they didn't really talk about pastels and they more talked about neons, like neon pink. And then in this case, I'm talking about lime green and I am just not a neon color type of person. I very much prefer either the like darker tones or more of a pastel. And so I wanted to do this one because I think it's a really great way to show that I'm taking, you know, this trend, but interpreting it into my own style, which I then took this, I, I feel like it's a lime green button up. Like, is it lime green? I'm not sure, but it's obviously not a like neon lime green like they were showing. It's more of a pastel. This outfit I think is very spring. I got my cute little platform sandals, my longer high-waisted shorts, and this is definitely definitely an outfit I'm gonna be wearing this spring and I'm just absolutely in love with this button up. I feel like the shade of green that it is, is very unique. It's 
bright without being that like neon lime green. This one's a little bit more, I would say a fall 2022 fashion trend, but I do not care. I wanted to mention it and I did see it on some of the trends list. So that is Twee. And we have been seeing with a lot of the fall 2022 collections that have been coming out that they very much are inspired by Twee. And when Twee was originally popular, I was definitely way too insecure to actually rock the style. But obviously Zoe Deschanel during that time was such an icon. And so I'm actually really excited about this style coming back. I don't think it's necessarily like exactly me, but there's definitely elements within it that I do like. And the outfit I ended up creating, I don't know is Twee you can let me know. I think there's, you know, obviously elements that I personally do not own. So I wasn't able to kind of create for this look. Like I feel like Twee, they wear a lot of cardigans and I didn't have any cardigan that made sense with this dress, but I do have it layered with this like frilly little like mock neck button up. And I have these heeled loafers. I definitely would say the Twee aesthetic more has ballet flats, but I don't personally own them and I would not wear flat ballet flats. I feel like I have to have at least a little bit of a heel, not too much again, cause I have flat feet, but I feel like these shoes still like look good with the full outfit. And then I have this little pearl headband because I feel like they always wore headbands. I feel like this is a great one to go to the thrift store because again, obviously this, you know, aesthetic has happened quite not super recent, but obviously in the past 10 years. So definitely there is stuff at the thrift store that is like this particular style. And I definitely want to dive into it because I, I do really like it. And actually very similar is the private school, like uniform vibes type of trend. I feel like private school or just like school uniforms has been quite a big trend for the past two years. I mean, obviously the pleated skirt is still doing its thing. I kind of put together this look, which obviously doesn't look like a school uniform, but I think it does have the elements, especially as like a rich girl going to private school um, with my little blazer, my sweater vest and pleated skirt. And I actually am in love with this outfit. I don't think I necessarily gravitate towards it fully, but I definitely want to style this type of outfit more. Although I feel like for spring, I would rather go for more pastels, but I don't know how to do that with this particular trend. I think it's definitely one that during fall time, at least for myself, I gravitate towards more with wearing because, you know, I want to wear plaid. It kind of, it just has that kind of feeling. It's a, it's a little bit too fall for me right now. I'm in like spring mode right now. So yes, the mini skirt is a trend and I definitely think mini skirts that are high-waisted I feel more comfortable you know with them although I would say most of my life mini skirts and low-rise jeans have been the enemy for me again more having to do with my personal confidence and now I feel like okay with mini skirts I have been wanting to get into them I definitely would say skirt wise it's very much on personal preference I feel like it's jeans some people like the midi skirt the mini the maxi obviously wear whichever one you feel comfortable with and so this particular outfit I put together I mean I would say this is a pretty short skirt for me at least this is the shortest skirt that I own and I think what gets me is I never know how to style mini skirts I tuck in so much so with this particular one I couldn't really tuck in anything to the skirt without it looking a little like bulky and bulgy. So I am just wearing a white crop top and I did feel really cute in it. I just, again, need to get more comfortable with wearing a mini skirt kind of out and about. But a lot of the mini skirts that they were showing were like super short and I don't know, that's just not my jam for me personally. This one I love so much and I wish I personally owned. It literally breaks my heart that every time I go to the thrift store, I try to find like a matching suit set and I have yet to find it. And it just, yeah, makes me really sad. But this is one of the trends very much is more in the pastel type of colors or brighter colors. It said statement like trouser set. I did want to put together an outfit with what I personally had, which is kind of the opposite in color wise to what was shown in the, you know, trend articles, but I'm wearing a full black outfit, which I was using my leather blazer that I am wearing right now as kind of the blazer set. And then I have a sweater vest tucked in to these black trousers, which I did recently buy these from Big Bud Press. I've been talking about how I have 
been also wanting to find just black high-waisted trouser pants and I've yet to find them at the thrift store. And so a lot of people recommended Big Bud Press and I did buy them and they are 100% just the most amazing thing. Quite, quite expensive, but I love them so much. They fit amazing and I just love actually this outfit. Even though it's not exactly how I would want to execute this trend, I think it works with, again, what I have. And the last spring 2022 fashion trend is butter yellow. And even though I, I know I said that neons are in, this was the only color that was mentioned that's more of a pastel. And I mean, I love the color yellow. I own so many things that are yellow, but particularly particularly butter yellow is my favorite shade of yellow. It brings me so much joy. And so I obviously have to rock this thrifted sweater I got recently that is the perfect shade of butter yellow. And I just paired it with some simple blue high-waisted jeans and then just some docks at the bottom. And this is how I will be styling this trend. I mean, this sweater I've actually been wearing quite a lot recently ever since I thrifted it. And I do like get joy when things that I already liked become trends because it's not that I am waiting until they are a trend to wear them. It just like makes me happy because then I get to see more things that are the shade butter yellow. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments or right down below which spring 2022 fashion trend is your favorite, whether I mentioned it or not. And like I said, again, 99% everything I showed in this video was thrifted. So if you do like thrifting, thrift with me's and that kind of thing, then make sure you subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandshine83. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.